This program is sponsored by The Prophecy, by Aaron Albert. Available now at all good online retailers. It's um, 20 to 4 in the morning on uh, November the 23rd. It's a Saturday, luckily, which means I don't have a lot to do, but I've been here uh, filming these little Mr. Stephen Has an Opinion blogs. And um, one thing I wanted to have an opinion on whilst the lights were on, whilst the camera was up, was um, fish. Is it me or are TV spectaculars not quite as spectacular as they used to be? I mean, I remember when I was a kid, and actually it wasn't when I was a kid, I must have been a teenager, we had Doctor Who night, and it was a whole night dedicated to Doctor Who. It's now the 50th anniversary, and there's some really, really great programmes uh, that have come out of the BBC, but they've been spread over such a long time, I've either missed some of them, or I, I didn't know that they were there. What would have been really nice for, you know, the big 50th bash, perhaps, is to have everything condensed into one day. Not necessarily for the first time, but maybe a repeat thing. You could technically turn on your television first thing in the morning and spend all day with Doctor Who. BBC Three is is is, is um, an available channel. BBC Four is uh, uh, similarly something that I think you can do special things with. I think it's really important that um, that we engage people with TV again. We haven't. We've we seem to have lost that. I'm not sure why. Okay, yeah, you get big engagement with things like X Factor and and I'm a Celebrity, things where people can phone in and vote. And I suppose that kind of makes sense because you're asking people to participate. But for me. The best part of TV is the drama. I mean, really, the, the, the pinnacle of television making is the drama that you see on TV. We don't seem to be doing it as well in this country as we used to. And maybe that's because technology and, and um, uh, funding has, has moved on in various different places. I don't know. But I see things from HBO. And I see things from Showtime. And I'm not sure if that's not the same people. I don't know. Uh, but you see the American shows that are coming in. And maybe they have had a lot, an awful lot more money spent on them. But, my God, it looks like it as well. We're in the right place to do big dramas like that. We don't have to suddenly mount a massive production that, that's flying off to a different country in order to do something like, like Game of Thrones. OK, we couldn't do it all here, but, you know, we could do a vast majority of it here. We're very lucky that we live in a place uh, which has some absolutely amazing scenery. And if you can get that on film, and if you can get some of the light uh, that we have in this country on film, I know that sounds weird. Honestly, I really do. But um, it's, it's things like there's a there's a time of day, um, especially here where, where I live, where the the sky is just red and it's beautiful and everyone should see that and that should be the backdrop to a film somewhere and it's not and maybe that's because I haven't made it yet or because some other filmmaker in Gloucestershire hasn't made it yet but it still hasn't been made. I haven't got any answers, not really, but I have got questions. Uh, not what are you doing with our licence fee because actually I think the BBC do a pretty damn good job. The questions that I've got are really, well, look, why can't we do some of this stuff a bit better or, or a little bit more, um, a little bit more like America does it anyway? I go so far to say that a commissioning of programmes seems to have a, a similar sort of problem as well. We had a great um, fantasy series on called The Fades uh, last year, it ran for a season. Whether it had legs for season two, I don't know, but uh, it seemed to be the sort of thing that there was a, a sort of cult following starting, and it could have been the sort of thing that was built up to uh, a successful show. We had two spin-off series from Doctor Who, which in their own way were incredibly popular. The Sarah Jane Adventures uh, unfortunately had to stop because of uh, the death of, um, of the, the lead actress. And Torchwood, of course, which was popular enough to be... I think there was a co-production somewhere in with either Canada or the States or something. Uh, you know, it was popular enough to get people like Jane Espenson in. This is a woman who's worked on tons and tons of TV, who's um, 
worked on on things like Buffy and Battlestar Galactica and proper television, you know, proper actual television uh, that is the sort of television I think that we could make. And it just brings me back to Doctor Who uh, because it's a show that I love that I'd really like to see something really special coming out of. I mean, completely and totally special. And there's just something missing about it at the moment. And to some extent, I think that the production companies have done as good a job as they have been able to do. And they seem to be moving forward with every season. They seem to be pushing different boundaries with every season. And I hope they keep doing that, and I'm sure that they will. But there does feel like there's something missing. I'm not sure what it is. And I'm not sure that anybody else does either. If you think you know, leave your comments below. That's my opinion. See you soon.